All right, I've had a few people ask about how I'm doing my nail necks because it's a bit different. I think it's a bit different. Um, and I've got a way that is pretty cheap and I found it pretty easy. Um, and I sort of have seen what everyone else is doing with fly cutters and some people use a mill or even a surface grinder with like an angled disc on it. And I don't have any of that stuff. I mean, I have a drill press so I could plausibly get some kind of fly cutter going. But the way that I've tried and seems to have worked is with this thing, which is a chainsaw sharpener with the chain part ripped off and just a little aluminium fixture screwed to it just out of five mil plate with a couple of sheet metal screws it looks really wild and dodgy and for the disc itself I'll try and get a bit of a shot of it it's been reprofiled to whichever angle you want that will make a good nail nick and I'll try and get I've just done a batch of six of these and they've been heat treated so that was all pre-heat treat these nail nicks and they're all pretty good except this was the worst one which I've actually had a couple of bites at already because it wasn't quite big enough after I, gr I ground it out and then did the bevels and so I'm gonna have another go and you get to see how it works. So here we go. So that's just in there. Mm. Really... It's hard for you to see. It's hard for me to see what you can see. But there are marks there where I put each blade so they're all the same and then I'll tighten it down it's not pretty by any means but it is oh, I'm trying to get a good shot of this it's very difficult so from looking at that I need to just tap it down just a little bit which I will do with my fanciest hammer okay the painted Niroc knockometer carbide hammer. Any excuse to use it makes me happy. Now let's see if we can get another look at this. All right, so that is about exactly where it wants to be, I think. Let's fire it up and see if we can clean it up a bit or we'll destroy it. One of the two is going to happen. Here we go.
pretty good, I think. So yeah, that's it. I hope it made sense. Um, I don't know really what the difference is with chainsaw sharpeners. It was like 50 bucks or 100 bucks, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you can figure it out. Just send me a picture if you copied me. I'd love to know. Thanks. Bye.